sometimes you um, oh, you know you come up with things happen and you think that's this is, that's a good story for the podcast. Things happen, um, but I don't know whether this one is. But I'll tell you anyway. No, yeah, it's all right. We need story. We're on every week. Yeah, we need stories. We need things that happen. Things that happen. Things. So having coffee with the grandchild at the shopping centre. Well, he's not having coffee. No, he's, he's not having, having a long a... black, is he? Oh, he's having a sip. <laughs> Bubbuccino? <laughs> Bit of a Bubbuccino. <laughs> then he smears his hand all over the glass. <laughs> I remember that. Are they long days with the grandchild? Or? Yeah, they are, actually. Yeah, they are. That's good, though. I used to do it in stand-up, how you'd get up with your three kids, you go down the shops, you go to a cafe, get some Bubbuccinos, you go to the park. You visit your parents, you go back home, you go to the park and you look at your watch and it's you 11 go, o'clock. it's 11 a.m. You're like, oh, no. I know, it's incredible. You go, the day must be, oh, man. You, you couldn't do that much in a day and you're on you're on alert the whole time. Well, that's a problem because they can run on a road. Yeah, and look at you with three, I was doing one. Yeah, one's so, enough though. Anyway, he likes it when we have a coffee, we have hot chocolate actually. I get a, a muffin and it comes in a bag. Mm. And I do the invisible ball trick with a bag. Have you seen that trick? I'll do no. it. I'll do it for you. Here's a, have you got a bit of paper around here somewhere? There's a bit of paper. There's a bit of paper there. You hold the bag, right? Yeah. And you throw the ball at it, and then you do this. Sounds like it. You click your fingers, and it sounds like it lands in the bag. Oh. Kids love it. They love that. Love so you that. throw the muffin at the bag. You, no. Oh, you, you pretend uh, that. Oh, you pretend you're throwing yeah, the muffin in the bag. Here's some invisible balls. Right. I throw get it. I get it. I get it. At, yep, I'll open I the top. It. Throw the ball I in the bag. It. All it landed in the bag. I get it. All you do is you click your finger. He's quite the magician. You uh, remember you showed me the video of him hiding in the cushions. Yeah. Yeah, he loves it. Amazing. Uh, amazing. So, as you point out, you can see him walk behind the couch. You can't see him trick. walk, and that is the, uh, the joy <laughs> of the all. That's the major. That's yeah. the major um, downfall in his yeah, magic look, trick. Yeah. Well, it's a bit like uh, you know that. What's that show with a the, Penn and Teller? No, the one where they show you. He's, he's got a mask. Oh, yeah, magic tricks revealed. Yeah, yes. <laughs> they they don't really sort the lady in half. Oh no, really? Really, they don't. Do they? Um, so, anyway, not like, a great story, so like I, better, I, I better get to the point. Uh, Selena gets a hot chocolate, I get uh, extra hot skinny. So, in a takeaway mm. cup. A lot of people like it in a takeaway cup while they sit at the table. Anyway, mine has got written on it, X for extra hot um, skinny. It's written on the top in blue ink. Oh. That's an important part. If you're, right. you, play, you, you play Columbo. Okay, okay. Columbo. So, we drink our coffee and Selena goes, oh, oh, you've got a burst blood vessel in your nose. And I've gone, oh, no. I've gone, what on? What now? Jeez, what are we going to go to the dog? What's happened? My head going to explode? What is it? Because they go blue and they say, oh, it's all right. Just get a laser guy to get it off. And I, you know, had a look in the, took a photograph of my nose and going, oh, yeah, there it is. Definitely. On the nostrils? Or? Yeah, right, right here, right, right through here. You can't see it. No, you can't see it now. No. No. And then, so we, you know, I forget about it. And then we go to the next, what happens again? She goes again, you've really got a burst of blood vessel in your nose. Another one. Another one. And I'm going, what's going on here? Jeez. And can you work out what was going on? Something to do with the hot drink? I was having the hot drink in a takeaway cup. Oh, written on top. the texter. The texter has gone on the end of my nose <laughs> and has left a blue line. And I think I'm, you know, my head's yes. going to explode. And being a hypochondriac, thinking oh, it's all over. It's just a texter mark. A texter yeah, mark. Aren't you happy when you find it? It's just a texter mark. Uh, but but so but, happy. But I but you've been through the whole thing in your head though. In a week. I've got to go to the doctor. I've got to do this. I've got to boost blood pressure. It's probably a sign of cancer. Yeah, you know, oh, high blood pressure. My head's exploding. Uh, what's going to happen? Blah, 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 blah. Uh, yeah, but it took a whole week. And then she said, you've got another one. And then, then, and then it was a bit, the next time it was a bit smeared. So we went, oh. <laughs> <The> text, uh, <laughs> and yeah, grandson went, granddad, you're funny tweaker. <laughs> it's like when I went to the doctor, he lifted up my top and he goes, oh my God, you got all these red dots. Is that, is that shingles? I go, no, oh, that's Pringles. Hey. <laughs> Woo. <laughs> I've done that joke before. I no, know. I haven't heard that before. That's <laughs> no, a new one. <laughs> oh, it's very good. Yeah, I went. It's like when, when I've told it before on the podcast where I went to the toilet and something black was in the toilet after I urinated, and it was twice. And I'm going, ah, oh, something bad. bad is coming so out of bad. me. Bad flavor. It was belly button lint falling out uh, of my belly yeah. button into the into the. It's just like you, little things happen. And you can catastrophize them oh, up to death. Absolutely. I've been yes. trying to think of a whole series of those jokes about turning snack food into medical conditions. Um, oh, I just, you know, the spin on words, the play on words. So I said this one last night, it didn't go well at all. He said, the doctor said, have you tried meditation? I said, medication, I'm up for it. <laughs> <laughs> no one laughed. <laughs> 
What have you got? Yeah. Oh, I'll have any man. medication. Yeah, anything. Yeah, anyway, anyway. so just a you're, you're uh, well. Yeah, you're uh, my nose is okay, as you can see. It's mm. the normal colour. But that's what happened with, with you. And I don't drink alcohol. Mm. So it's not like I'm getting one of those big bulbous noses that oh, guys who um, yeah. drink too much are getting. So today's uh, show is that is a, a community service announcement. Yes. If you find something odd on your face that you think you're, that you've got a, 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 a blood clot or something on your nose, it's not. It's your coffee. It's your texter. It's your All texter. Right. So, maybe, so you might might leave a texture in your pants, and then suddenly you've got a big stain in your pants. Well, it can happen. It can happen. Remember, remember when you did that at school? When there, oh, the ink. the ink, the ink, oh, the ink. I hated that. Yeah, got ink in your pants in your pocket. Oh yeah, well, that, that, you know, oh. it exploded. Then the teacher go, oh sir, it's exploded in your pocket. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. Well, you think it was the ink? Who yeah. knows? You were young. <laughs> quick, save us. From quick, here's some music. Yeah, quick. Welcome to Somehow Related Now. Please welcome your hosts, Glenn Robbins and Dave O'Neill. All right, well, um, we've got to say welcome uh, well, to everyone. What else would we have to say? It's you know, you don't like... you. you episode... 250. You know, it's 250. Yeah, right. There we go. Where are the flowers? Uh, and if you are a listener, and maybe you have listened to 250. Good on you. Stand proud, mm. because we've been doing it for a number of years. We mm. enjoy doing it. And if, if people like listening, we'll keep on doing it. But keep. 250, what's, what's two, what can you buy for 250? Nothing. $250? No, 250, 20... Hang on, two dollars fifty. I'd, like, I'd rather think of two hundred fifty. Okay, okay, go for two hundred fifty dollars. What can you buy? You can buy a TV. You can buy anything these days. Phone, computer. Oh, not a computer. Phone. Could you buy a couple of phones? Buy a bike. Buy a dinner out for everyone. Yeah, buy a bike. Not a very good one. You buy a bike. No, you could buy. But what could you buy for two dollars fifty then? Because there's lots of things. Oh, a can, can of buy. Coke. No, I don't think you could. Oh, I think it's, I think they're about two fifty. Are they? Is yeah. that all they are? Yeah. I would have thought that that bowl three. of Coke I've got here, that's four dollars, but you get a small one, it's like two fifty. Yeah, yeah, the can of Coke. How much do I have for bread now? It must be four, three, four dollars. Four. Bottle of milk? This is the thing though, you know they always make fun of politicians when they don't know prices of stuff. We I don't never know. I never know prices of stuff. It's I, lost I shop the, every day. Yeah, I don't I mean you can't it, be bothered. I don't look because I go, Well, like I can't look at the price because I have to have it. It's not like a And also then people go, oh, that's because you've got money. I said when I was poor I didn't look at the prices. Because you know there's some people like my mother in law just come and go, Oh, <gasps> The petrol's fifty yeah, cents a litre down. You've got I to go know. now, and I'm like, "Well, how much is it normally?" She goes, "Don't you know the petrol prices?" I'm like, "No, no I have no idea." No. I mean, it's it, again. It's good know. though. You know yeah. what? We should. We should Why? be more budget. Well, you save money if you're more budget. But is it worth the effort to go? Okay, there's a petrol station over in yeah, Carnegie. Yeah. You, <laughs> what you save, you're using petrol to get there. Or going, oh, okay, loaves of bread and Aldi are forty cents cheaper than the ones at Coles or whatever. But then some people have to do it to save money. Yeah, we. Fair I enough. mean, we come from a generation that is. That is is money saving, and I completely respect yeah. that. Completely respect it. But I think when I'm buying food, and I mean, that, I'm not going fine dining. I don't. We don't need that. I'm just yeah. going. I've got to buy that milk, and I've got to buy that bread. Yeah. If it's up five cents or down. Having said that, I will. I do enjoy spotting a special. Oh yeah, a special is good. I like a special. Let's go. Red got, spot special. Red spot special. Red spot special. I walked around with the. No, I didn't walk around with her, but the girl who was. I'm thirsty. Are you still drinking your water? Uh, not as much. No. But uh, we, we normally get a drink before the we'll show. We'll get a drink. Get a drink. We'll, we'll, why don't we get the topics? While we get the topics, you get a drink. Oh, All that's right? a great idea. All right. Okay. okay. Sam, Glenn's got to get a drink. All right. Because he's got blood vessels and stuff. He's, he's not well. <laughs> he needs he's to keep well. Get, the blood's getting a bit... Someone sent me a message blood. on Facebook and honestly... Not an honestly. Someone I know said, strong rumour that you're very unwell, Dave. I hope you're feeling better. <laughs> it's like, What? Look at, I'm looking well, fine to me. Starting that rumor. Yeah. Uh, anyway, oh, I, well, you, did, you hang on. You had you had a uh, bad elbow. Yeah. You had a bad, uh, bad foot. Le- foot. Yeah, yeah, that's true. Maybe they. Yeah. Yeah. yeah they're not. Yeah. That's not life and death, though, is it? You know, when you hear um, that someone's we, unwell. And we had we had a lot of episodes about heart attacks and stuff. Oh and, yeah, true. Yeah, true. And, true, and, true. You know, true, true. And you travel with the nurse. She's <laughs> my there. carer yeah. and my dog. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Sam. What are the topics? The topics are North Korea and haircuts. Wow. Well, automatically, 
Yeah. You do think of Kim Jong Un's terrible haircut. Is it a bowl cut? No, it's like a crew cut flat top kind of thing. Like a soldier in the 50s sort of, isn't it? A fat looking. He's had some bad haircuts over the years. And no one's going to tell him that, are they? No one tells him. What would you call him, Kim? Kim Jong Un, isn't it? What would you call him if you met him? Hey, Kim. Kimmy. <laughs> Kimmy, Kimbo. What's Kimbo. up? Nice haircut, Kimbo. Yeah. Got any oh, more weapons? Yep. Oh, more. he's off the planet. Have you seen that great aerial photo of the two Koreas? Because Korea used to be one country, and then they had yes. the Korean War, and it split yep. in half. Yep. Um, North Korea, South Korea. It's this great aerial photo. South Korea's all lit up at night, and North Korea's got like two lights on. Yeah. One Poor of my world. friends went there when I was at uni. You can get in there, can't you? Yeah, yeah. I always say to the kids, I want to go for one day, because I reckon the food would be bad. You know what I mean? Just, yeah, go for, so, just have a look. I just want to have a look. Yeah. One day. Yeah. Well, maybe two. Maybe one night. Yeah. Because one of my friends, when I was at uni, there was a girl who was right into socialism and stuff. And so her and some of her friends got picked to go to North Korea because they were very left wing. But, gee, it put her off. She said it was... Depressing. Oh, yeah. And it was like a mm. student conference and it was all managed and yeah. they, all the students were marching. And they still need foreign aid, though, don't they, in North Korea? They're they, very poor. Yeah. Chinese yeah. give them a lot. But they're so militarised. I mean, it's kind of out yeah. of kilter, isn't it? All the money going in the wrong direction, not to the people, but to the so weird. weaponry. So weird that there's a country still like that. Yeah. In the world. But, you know, as long as China props them up, I suppose. Uh, is it a dynasty? How, how his dad. If you, yeah. So it's a family. Is it like royalty? Yeah. So absolutely. Not, so there's no demo- democratic no. process. They just lock people up. What's amazing is that people escape and go to South Korea and live there. There's a whole community of North Koreans living in South Korea. How do you? Is there a, and, how do you get out? How, how do they stop getting out? Oh, some some just um, you know, would go as say athletes or whatever, and then just oh yeah, right. leave. Yeah. Um, what's that word where they just leave and asylum? Yeah, six mm. asylum. Mm. Um, some would climb over the walls. There's a river you can you can go down. I think there's a river in, that goes. Oh, into just China. float down the river. Float down the river, but then some of them go back. They go. Oh, they, really? Yeah, yeah. It's like a it's that thing where um, like Stockholm syndrome, where they're falling in love with a captor. So they're like, I oh, mean, it's not too bad in South Korea. You can go out at night and sing karaoke and get some but beautiful I'm, food. Yeah, but I'm missing North Korea. <laughs> the, yeah, I'm missing. Apparently, you've got to have posters of Kim Jong Un in your house and stuff. Like, uh, uh. I, remember, like I remember there were times when people would have No, in our scout hall we had a picture of the Queen Yeah, and Baden Powell Yeah They're true actually, you're right You're right Do we have any pictures of the Queen? Oh, I guess it, Anthony Palm. Albanese <laughs> I don't think so Have you got one in on your wall, Anthony Albanese? No I got think a, you have Probably, you got a t-shirt you got a t-shirt Is it true that they have their own timeline and their own calendar? In North Korea, I think they do. They don't don't want to adhere. Oh, wow. Don't know what here. I didn't know. Oh, I don't know that's adhering, but it's got their, got their own thing going. Seceded wow. from the world, so to speak. Yeah. We we went to some museum somewhere, and some guy did an exhibition on North Korea, and he set up a time lapse camera in the streets for like three days. There's hardly any traffic. You know, they've got wood wood burning cars. Really. Which I find hard to believe. I read that what? the other day. Yeah, yeah, like a steam train. Yeah, because I remember when I was growing up, we had a wood fire, a, a fire, a wood wood burning electric hot, electric hot water, hot water service. I'm yeah. serious. Where well, you put the briquettes? Or yeah, put the briquettes in out the back, and you wake up in the morning, no hot water. Dad would have to get up early. Oh, God, listen to this. listen to me. Hey, how old are you? <laughs> I'm really old. <laughs> but they would, yeah. You'd, he'd have to light light the briquettes and heat up the water. Wow. And um and there's a wood. So you're driving along. Yeah. And you and you pull over and you go. I've just got to get around the boot, get a bit more wood to fire up the. Really? The, yeah. Like a steam truck. I find that amazing. I don't know. Look it up. See if it's you, true. I don't know. You, you know what? There was, though, because there's no Western. There's no McDonald's, no Subway. Well, you know they wear jeans there. Yeah, yeah, Because yeah. it's adhering to... Oh, hello, Mel. Here comes the drinks. We ordered the this? drinks while the title's... Yeah. Were, while the, so, thank you. Beautiful. Look at that. Look at that. Look at you that. want that one? What is that? Which, what's what? What one's got... You want ice, don't you? I don't care. What is that? Do you still when when you get a drink delivered with a straw? Do you use the straw? I hate paper straws. But here, here we go. No, that's terrible. What is in that? Well, I I didn't even ask for that. That's lemon lime bitters. She's given us our. <laughs> she did well. I didn't ask for the drink. I just she said I can't do you a drink now. She 
thought we had this the other week. So, anyway, I'll drink it. I'll just swizzle it all around. Um, I'm not drinking it. Do you, well, do you reckon they get... Well, pick bitters. yourself lucky. Yeah, exactly. You think exactly. in North Korea, do they have... No. You know, you're sitting there and no. you... You know, and we'll probably have a nice lunch and we'll, you know... So don't be too, you know... Yeah, but obviously Kim Jong-un's eating... Hell, look how fat he is. He's eating stuff. He's getting food somewhere. His family, he? they're all chubby. Yeah. Everyone, everyone in the country's skinny ass because they're all starving and he's like... And is it is he the one that plays golf and plays really well because he writes... Is that him? He, that's he write, Donald he, Trump. <laughs> as, as well. As well, probably. Yeah. Yeah. So, Have you seen the movie The Interview with um, no. Seth Rogen and James no. Franco? It's, it's when they go over... I think it's based on the who was the basketball that went over Dennis Rodman. Dennis Rodman. You know that. You know the thing about that. He he's so he thought it was South Korea. He only I found out on the know. plane it was North Korea. His manager had organised it. He had no idea. what And was they were going big on. fans of him in North Korea. Oh yeah, Kim Jong Un, big fan of basketball. So do they? Do they have anything like? Do they have internet? I think they they, they have a small amount of internet. You got to, it's a huge. It'd be huge, controlled though. It'd be totally controlled. It'd be controlled. So I wonder how they, and why would they? I told even you love that story. America, why would they want to meet an American a country that they didn't respect? And then they met Trump. I mean, they don't get it. They hate the Americans. I know. Oh, yeah, they met Trump, didn't they? Yeah, Trump there, but they, they walked in a big proscenium. They can they control the internet. I told you that, that a guy met at a gig who went to, was it Singapore or Malaysia? Malaysia. And he met the guy that controls the internet in Malaysia. Because it's quite a really, and it was down in the basement. And he had he had a, he had wire, a one wire, big wire cable thing that said Facebook. One that said Twitter. <laughs> and he goes, look at this, I'm going to stop Facebook in Malaysia. And he pulled out the cable and started It was laughing. one cable going through there. Yeah, that controlled Facebook in Malaysia. Anyway, that's what he said. True story. Had he had a couple of drinks? <laughs> yeah, he may have. Now, in the interview, is very funny. It, so they, they've obviously got a guy playing um, Kim Jong-un and um, he's obsessed by Kate Perry, you know, the singer. Yep. And he loves that song. And he keeps singing it. Have you ever been a plastic bag? That's very funny. It's bits of the, It's very stupid, but it's very funny. Oh, yeah, it's got to be stupid. Be Have you seen the guy who um, dresses up in the Australian elections as Kim Jong Un? Oh no! Oh, he looks like him. He's a big fat guy. Looks like Kim Jong Un, and so they always employ him. Like during um, the federal election, he shadowed Gladys Liu. You know, yeah. Gladys Liu was the Chinese Australian. Um, liberal candidate yep. in a in a seat in Melbourne, and he would go and <laughs> send out pamphlets and say, "Gladys Lou, she's one of mine," and all this, and I can make fun. And then, um, and then, um, what's his name turned up? Um, who was the opposition leader? Not Dutton, the other bloke, um, Morrison. Yes, Scott Morrison turned up, <laughs> and Kim Jong Un imitators hang out pamphlets, and Scott Morrison's um, <laughs> chief of staff goes up and goes. This is the most offensive thing I've ever seen. And this guy goes, do not speak to the Supreme Leader like that. It's <laughs> very funny. <laughs> do not speak to the Supreme Leader like that. Anyway, God, it made me laugh. Uh, anyway, we were watching this time-lapse photography, yeah. and there's no Western stuff, but they had like a UPS courier, like one of the big um, uh, van. They had a courier van drive through the shot. So, in North Korea? Well, yeah, in North Korea. They had like... They've obviously got a branch of it was UPS, so one of the big American courier band brands. Interesting. Mm. I did, there was no other American or British, you know, logos or anything. You 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 were up on international politics. Yeah. How much of a threat are they? Now, nah, well, they are because it's one nutty guy, and, and they've got nuclear weapons. Yeah. So, so that's the one thing. They, you know what? They wouldn't get, get this far, but they could easily go into China, South Korea. Any of that stuff around there, any of those Japan, any of those countries around there. So how do they stroke? Do they? What do they? How, how do they keep it? Keep him calm? What does he want? Does he yeah, want that's anything? That's a good question. I I, I, do, I do think it's China that's propping them up. But sounds like he just wants to be a big player in the big boys. Yes. Pool. And when he yes. got to meet Trump, it was like, ah, oh, you know, come look at my toys. We respect. Um, I respect him. What do you say? I respect him. <laughs> it's like, oh god. Yeah. Anyway, well, why don't we move on to uh, haircuts? Okay. Haircuts? Yep. How often do you get your haircut? You love a haircut. Six weeks. Uh, what do you mean? Oh, do no. you book it in? Yeah. Uh, do I book it in when I'm leaving the last one? Yeah. Or do I? Yes. No, but I count the weeks in my diary. I go, I go. I reckon, because you've got to allow a week to get in because, you know, in case you can't get an appointment. 
So I go, I think by next week I'm going to be ready for a haircut. Mm. Uh, and then I'll go and book it in and I'll get – I'll leave it in her hands. All right. What's her name? Her name is uh, – No, you've forgotten it. I've, well, my hairdresser is Ivan, but sometimes yeah. Ivan can't see me. Yeah. And so then I either go to um, JP uh, or – JP. John Paul. Oh, yeah. Yep. Uh, and the other guy's fantastic too. What's he? Oh, God, I've had a mental blank. I can't remember his name. And Ross Noble can't help me out because yeah. it's the name of my hairdresser. I know. And I'm, uh, yeah. And you can't remember that your hairdresser. You, you Carol. Have to, Carol. Yeah. How oh, old? no, that's her name. Oh, you want. Oh, how, old is, how old's Carol? Carol's, I don't know. 85? No, she's French. Oh, Carol. That's a, uh, Carol. Uh, but, but it's uh, the place is called Voila. Voila. <laughs> Which is what you do when you don't you say that after you made a nice meal? Mm-hmm. Voila! It's like a magic trick too. Voila! 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 And do you think because she's French, you think that she's doing a better job than an Australian? Oh, absolutely, she smokes while she does it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it was a plug. They were urinating in the alley. Uh, yeah. They got urinating in the alley. And and I, I love up, the French. How long she been? I love a French accent. How long she been here? Oh, a long time. Yeah. I'm, well, I, I've been getting it. She well, she did Russell Coit's hair. Wow. And and um, is it what she said? Uh, what do we call you in France? A bogan. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Hello, uh, Russell. How are you going? There are French bogans, you know, because you know my brother lives in Switzerland, and there are. Are there French bogans? There's Swiss bogan. Yeah, every country has their has their own bogans. Oh yeah, yeah. Absolutely. I don't like calling them them bogans. No, well, I don't know why. Whatever, go, you know. whatever you want to wear, whatever you want to do with mm. your hair. What was your early haircut as a kid? Terrible. I think mine was called square back and sides. Oh. Now, we had. We, I'm a bit older than you, so we had the bowl haircuts that mum would do herself. Like the 80s is enough. The she Brady wouldn't put bunch. a bowl on your head. She wouldn't put a bowl on her head, but she... she, she it was straight across the front, yeah. which I think is square back and sides. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But we weren't. We didn't have crew cuts or... There were no... There were no um, uh, you know, shavers or razors involved. It was just no. one with the scissors. Yeah. And then when you look at my haircut, it's Prince Valiant, that kind of. So we, oh, never, so- we never had mullets. There were kids with mullets at school. Oh, mullet but we very never, big. We didn't have mullets. We had more bowl cuts that sort of were almost like a mullet. And then Trev, my older brother, had long hair, like long, like a 70s guitarist. Did you have, was, was there at school, was there some sort of restriction on hair? No. Not at Mitchum High, no. Nah. Yeah, I was at Strathmore High. I don't think there was either. I remember going to the barber in year, year 11, and because I was into punk and new wave bands, I said, can you cut my hair short? I wanted yeah. it short. He goes, no, we have a policy of not cutting above the ears here. <laughs> <laughs> now, that was a hairdresser, and he said, if you want one of those haircuts, go up to the barber. Oh, here's a connection. The barber served in the Korean War, and so the barber would give you a flat top. Which is, you know, a flat top. Maybe there's the, that's the, maybe, maybe there's, there's a yes. connection. And so he and he had a flat top, uh, sorry, flat top comb, like a level he would put on your head. So because he's, you know, remember those old rocker kind of barbers? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. So yeah, he, yeah. he was happy to do short hair, whereas a hairdresser was like, no, we don't cut above the ears here. Like what? Yeah, well, yeah. Yeah, yeah, it's interesting. My brother used to do mine out the back. Really? Yeah. Do you remember? So do you remember going to a barber as a kid? Yeah, Doug. <laughs> And so, Dad, when we were like, when we said to, to Mum, maybe when we were twelve or what, you're not cutting my hair anymore. Dad would take us up to the barber at the Rangeview shop. Yeah, well, he did, still went until he passed away. And you went. It was in a chair that was yes, it was extraordinary. I guess it was like a, almost like a dental chair. Yes, you could pump it up, pump it down. It could. Had, but did you? And I love the cabinet with the blue light. Oh yeah. <laughs> Important, it was swizzle, swizzle in that, and there was blue. Was there blue water? Blue, blue yeah, 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 with the combs. Yeah. But do you remember when you made, when you were sixteen or whatever, and you said, "I want to go to hairdresser now." Oh yeah, because that, that was a big step. Yes, wasn't it? Yeah, that was a big step. But what's interesting is that it's actually gone. It's now cool to go back to those a barber, where Absolutely. there's an, whereas when you go to a hairdresser, it's kind of a bit more elite and a bit more special, more feminine but too. Now you see them. At the, at the shopping centres, and they and everyone's got the same look. Oh, the hipsters, hipsters. Oh, yeah. absolutely. Barber, bar, if if you we could have predicted that barber shops were going to come back, we would be billionaires now. Yeah, I met a guy who owns them. Uh, he owns barber shops, and they're and, they're sort of tiled and they're big mirrors. Oh, you can get a beer. Yeah, yeah. If you want, there's always yeah. a dog there sometimes. Yeah, yeah there's music a, playing. 
And it's the the hair. Hey, mate, haircuts don't need to be bloody feminine, guys. Come in and get a haircut from the barber. We'll talk footy in that. <laughs> that would be the ads. We'll talk footy in that. Yeah, I mean, um, and the, it's quite the, the cut now is either quite sheer up the back, yeah. and a, quite a lot on top, or it's a mullet. Well, look, yeah, or there's yeah, a mullet yeah. with with yeah. with with sheared up 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 through here up you, the side. You got to look at the AFL footballers. Yeah, they're, 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 they're the they trendsetters. Seem, yeah, they seem to be the trendsetters with the kids, and it's bad mullets, bad sort of a mullets. I don't know. I oh. mean, in, when I was in year ten, mullet was scary. Yeah, guys with mullets. You, you don't tough guys. It. Tough guys with tough mullets. Tough guys. Well, and I guess now it's still, they're not really that tough. So what else was there? Skinhead. When someone got a skinhead, that, that was scary. Either you got nits or, you know, these days the skinhead, like there's a girl around the corner who's got a skinhead, but she's obviously, and, but then they dye it as well, put blue dots on there. Then there's the mohawk. Oh, I yeah. saw a guy with a mohawk the other day, and as he walked across the, in front of me in the, on the crossing, I went, that's a lot of work for the like morning. The, and then the faux hawk. What were the faux hawk? What was the faux hawk? It's just where you, you, um, you see guys, sort of, not our age, a bit younger, but like in advertising and stuff occasionally, they want, and they push it sort of like a – they push their hair together in the middle, so it's like a faux – so they haven't gone the whole – It's a fake whole, mohawk. Yeah, it's like a fake. It's a soft – Yes. Mohawk light. Yes. Yeah. I had a flat top, like um, – because, you know, I love ska music and that, but then I had – similar to hair, what I've got now, like – it, you know, Yours is you, 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 go, you, you, you have a what, do you, what would you call what would you head. call your hair? Um, I don't know. Sad old man. <laughs> <laughs> uh, happy that I've got hair. No, but you've uh, got a, you've got a look. Yeah, it is what it is. You know, um, some say you look a bit like that singer, Katie Lang. Katie Lang. Yeah, I, I part my hair down the side, so it's sort oh, so of when you wake quiff. up in the morning, do you? Uh, so okay, take me through it. Out of the shower, um, hair was wet. Do you towel dry your hair, or you just do you just? I don't towel dry it. I just just dab it. Mm-hmm. Are you because it won't get frizzy? Anyway, what oh, do you do? Oh yeah, yeah. No, I just do you rub it hard with a towel like they do in the ads? Like Mum used to. Yeah, yeah. Oh, Mum used to, Remember mum so used to do this. Too. She's taking all the frustrations on your head. <laughs> I take Jeez, it mum. easy with the towel, man. <laughs> my Jeez. brain's going back and forth. Um, oh. No, no. What I do now is um, a hairdresser told me to put um, gel. Oh, not gel. It's like wax in your hair to make it sit down. So I put a bit of product in my hair and let no, it dry. Like I've never picked you for a product guy. Yeah, yeah, but only when I sort of go out or something. I put. I haven't got product in at the moment. But when I go and do a gig, are you a little product? Because my hair's a bit unwieldy. I, yeah. I just sit it down a bit. It oh. makes it look neat. It makes it look like you made unwieldy. Yeah, it makes it. Yeah, my hair's pretty crazy. So it makes it. You, it look like you made an effort. So you, you had morning hair. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. And because I wear a mask at night, my CPAP. Oh, you see, Pat. That, yeah. that, that has straps and stuff. That I look like a crazy person when I wake up. Crazy. Yeah. Um, so I go to the mirror and I, do, I don't – do you use a comb? No. Or, or a brush? No. no. Fingers? Fingers. Just, yeah, that's what I do too. Because yeah. once I comb it, I look like I work in a bank. Yeah. I want to have sort of that rugged sort of uh, broken up look. Oh, you, you know? like that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 But um, I think we've talked about this before. After you wash it, it gets all fluffy. Oh, I only wash it once a fortnight. Mm. Because well, I've got grey hair, like? yeah. Because I've got grey hair, it's not capable of. It's just kind of like dry. It doesn't mm. doesn't suck in all the. It's no. I never have oily hair. Mm. Never. Mm. If anything, I I need to condition more, wash less. Right. And I have used wax. I have used. Do you put product in it at all? No. Uh only rarely. Mm. Rarely. Sometimes I go, oh, my hair looks a bit wayward. Well, it, is, going, it is good when you go on a TV show and they do your hair. You go, that looks actually really good. Oh, I should be doing this myself. Yeah, but they get the hairspray out and it becomes oh, like that's, a, yeah, it's like, And it's, it smells like – and hasn't hairspray not changed its smell since mum used to use the oh. Siebel, the green packet? Remember the green Siebel, Siebel yes, hairspray? Mum had yeah. it with a woman on the front, I think. Yeah. And um, uh, it smells disgusting. Uh, on TV, they, they do a great job, but I don't like the hairspray. Because no, it makes it, makes it go like either. a hat. My it's like hair. a helmet. It's like Same a helmet. I get, and I go, my hair's not like that. And I say, I like to be a little bit messed up. Oh, yeah, but you've got one flyaway hair in the front there, which mm. is catching the light, so they're fair mm. enough. You know? my, mm. I remember my mum used to have a hair dryer that she carried around on her hip and went up, sat on her head. She had the, So you had oh, the, wow. the drying thing here with a pipe, went down to this thing that she could carry on her hip. Like an astronaut. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Because that's how they used to dry hair in those salons with those big things. No, they'd bring over the big machine yeah. and put it on top of your hair. I've yeah. had that too because I had my hair 
died for Russell that, Coit. That was to set it, wasn't it? To set, set the. Um, is it to set it? I don't know. It set it and dry. Oh, was it? Yeah, but the hairdresser died it for you on, on Russell. Yeah, Coit? yeah, 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 yeah. Because yeah. 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 I've gone grey, and Russell Coit, you know, he's man, not he's good. an action man. Yeah, he's not. He's not grey. Um, I don't like when I go to the barbers mm. or no, the hairdresser, sitting there looking at myself for. I know. I don't want to look at myself. What, are the, what, what, what about the questions? What are you What are you doing tonight? What do you go? Have you got a girlfriend? Are, yeah, yeah. <laughs> What's on for the weekend? Yeah, they must get over at hairdressers. They do oh, they a, do a great they do job. A great job. They, they do must a great get job. Over but talking. they are giving pleasure. They are giving. Oh, they, yeah. People walk in feeling better than the, hopefully better than they walked out. Well, what about when your wife comes home and goes, "Don't look! Oh my god, <laughs> my life's ruined." Oh, meaning she's had a bad one. She's had a bad one. Yeah. Don't look. Don't got, look at me. I got a book in. I got a book. I'm never going back again. Don't look at me. I well, am not true. an animal. I am a human being. People must just. Well, a friend of ours. I won't say who. Mm. He does has a very nasty trick that he does. He when he's walking past, he's walking down the street and he walks past a hairdresser, and someone is just stepping out with their new hair. Yeah. He does a double take and goes. What the fuck happened to you? Is that Pang? <laughs> Sounds like Sam Pang. It's not. No, That's not, not Pang. Pang. No, it's no, not right. Pang. It's not Pang. Um, All right. Well, I think we've talked about haircuts, but you do love a haircut. Don't you love I'm just haircut. trying to think. Did you, ever, did you ever see that sketch about a haircut? No. Which was, I think it was not the nine o'clock news, where the barber's cutting his hair, mm. cutting, 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 and then he accidentally cuts the top of his ear off. Oh. But it doesn't bleed like this cuts it off. And then he goes, oh, shit. Oh, I better cut the he top. He cuts the other yeah. one, yeah. And then he, cut, he cuts it too low, so he keeps on going until he completely cuts the guy's ears off. And then it's the funny. guy's, oh, he goes, oh, that's a good haircut. Thanks very much. And he goes to put his glasses on, and his glasses won't oh. stay on. Bang! Great tag. There you go. Um, it's Mr. B. Do you like – when you what's your hairdresser's name? Ivan. So here's – this is interesting. Okay, mine is female. Yours is male. Carol. Does, does, does Ivan – Give you a, a mess, a a, a a a a wash. Yeah, yeah, but it's often the apprentice, and the apprentice male or female. Oh, normally female, yeah. And do they give you a head massage? Yeah, I love that. So you go, I talk, and then I just go quiet, and then they go. And they oh, go, I love that head massage. Yeah, imagine that now. Just oh, that, just that nice head massage, and then they get, the, they get, and then they then they put warm water. They run the warm water over it. And so it's much all, better than mum rubbing your head with the towel. Yeah, it's a beautiful. <laughs> and, and, and what about when a bit of water runs down your collar though? Oh, yeah, you got it. spoiled it now. Yeah, you've ruined it. Then do you get it cut? It's wet when it's cut, mm. is it? Yeah, and yeah, then you get it cut. Are you a blow wave guy? Yeah, they tend to a little bit. Yeah, a little bit. A little bit. A little, little bit. bit of product. Do you get it? A little bit of product, a little bit of blow wave. I don't, for some reason, I don't, oh, maybe they just give it a quick blow, but I certainly don't get a blow with a brush and, you know, because I've changed my look. I've gone a bit shorter. This is my new thing. Gone a bit shorter on top, shorter on the side. Because I used to be a bit um, BGs, a bit long. Yeah, you, you did, didn't you? Yeah. 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 A bit, uh, you know, a bit swarthy. I'm trying to swarthy. remember the, the name of my other hairdresser who cuts my hair sometimes. He's a great guy and he um, he grew up in a coastal town in England. Mm. And we, we, we always talk about ridiculous things and he was telling me that I'm free used to come in to his John Inman from Are You Being Served. Oh, really? I'm free. Used to come. He went before he was a hairdresser. He worked in a fruit shop, right? Yeah. And so he'd be in the fruit shop as like a teenage boy. Yeah. And I'm free would come in. I'm free would always invite him over. He'd only ever buy pears, John Inman, some pears. And then he'd say, "What are you doing tonight? Come over to my house." And he'd. <laughs> well, I've got some pears. I've got some pears. Come to my house. <laughs> and as Ivan said, "How many times did you go over?" He goes, "I didn't go over." <laughs> Disgusting. <laughs> Imagine I'm free inviting you over to his house. Yeah. I'm free. Yeah, yeah. It's always a bit. It's always a bit weird, isn't it? Whether whether or not there's because I, I don't. Yeah, what's mind. his intentions? Yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I don't get me wrong, but I used to have a male hairdresser, and then I, he would cut my hair. Then I'd go up to the cash register, right, mm. and I would go to pay. Then he'd step around and he'd start running his fingers through my hair <laughs> while I was at the cash register, and I go, oh, "That feels a bit weird." No, he's just finishing it off. Let's finish really, it really? It's just felt a bit weird. I go, in the chair, you can do whatever you like, but at the uh, cash register, I don't know whether you can run your fingers through my hair. Uh, Not that I'm a, 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 a homophobic or anything like that, but it just infers... If it was a woman, would you worry? Well, it probably would feel. Yeah, it would feel weird. Uh, but weird. more, more not that it would infer we're in a relationship. It can does, we, doesn't it? Can you stop doing to me now? Good old. 
<laughs> um, All right. Well, let's have some thinking music. What do we got? Uh, what can we, we got? Have? It's Kim Jong. Haircuts. Kim Dun- Jong. Bit of the interview. Bit Dun- of Dennis Rodman. Bit Dennis of Rodman. Sh- Donald Trump with uh, Kim Jong Un. Uh, I think that uh, you know. Uh, <laughs> Pantone ad. Pantone. Pantone. It's a Pantene. Pantene. Uh, uh, Pant- what about uh, No Tears? Um, Is there a good jingle? Is there a jingle? Yeah. Uh, a decoray. Oh, decoray. Decoray. That's great. That's great. That and ad. and then the, then the voice comes. Uh, yeah, kept like that. Yeah, let's have a listen to that. All right, here we go. Yeah, go. As I shampoo my hair, I really love new decor. I love the feeling nothing can be there. Oh, now, yes, I. Shampoo. All right, there we go. Do you reckon? Great. I would never have sung that. I've never sung that in the shower myself. No. But that ad, the people in the shower. I do sing in the shower sometimes. Do you? Yeah. What would be your, do you have a designated song that you sing in the shower? No, not really. No. Do you, okay, this is interesting. Do you face the rose or have you, does the, the shower rose, is it in your face or is That's it That's behind the back me. It's behind you. To yeah. Do you face it or? I'm on the side. Oh, actually. Because I face my my thing that hangs off the tap. My tap. Hello. See if you tap. Mm. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? My, where are your taps? Underneath the rose? No. The, I've got one that hangs in the centre. The um... you, uh, you understand? I hate getting into a bath. It's a real trip hazard. Yeah, I know. Like, you, you've got a shower recess. That's you've got a proper shower. like going to the UK. Oh, yeah. You get in the bath, have a shower. Or there's no yeah. even have a shower. Yeah, it's often it's in when you it's the bath. You're going. I can't yeah, have a aren't. bath before a gig. They're not that fond of washing. Yeah. Um, so your no, my taps are on to the right. So I I face to the right and play with my taps and my, and my soaps. And I got my different soaps there, and I got my oh, different God. little appliances there. The but, 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 well, you 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 got a bar of soap. You don't want to rub the. F- the soap you rub on your face in another part of your body. Why not? I see you've got special bum soap. <laughs> <laughs> Don't use my bum soap. <laughs> Who's Who's using using my- <laughs> Who's using my bum soap? my bum soap, kids? Oh, well, uh, I get kind it. of. I get it, but... Do you remember Solvol? Yes. And sometimes the Solvol would get in the shower and you'd pick it up oh. and you oh, what was Solvol for? Your feet or something? Because it was really harsh. If you rubbed yourself with a bit of Solvol, it really oh, hurt. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Um, well, anyway. do you want to have a guess? Kim Jong Un, North I'm Korea. Go- I reckon. Haircuts. I reckon. I reckon they are so restricted there that they that they they have one haircut. That's all you you get, and everyone gets the same haircut. I'm going to say that every one person in the family has to have their haircut like Kim Jong Un. <laughs> Stupid. As a devotion too. What is the Answer. You can't just have any haircut in the Democratic People's Republic of Korea, also known as North Korea. There are 28 haircuts that are approved by the state. The North Korean haircut rules are men's hair should be kept between 1 to 5 centimeters in length with recommended haircuts every 15 days. Women are allowed to choose from one of 14 slightly longer styles. Wow. You have been listening to Somehow Related with Glenn Robbins and Dave O'Neill. Imagine that, state approved haircuts. State approved? Imagine if we were in Victoria, you could get the Dan Andrews. Oh, I see. So, (laughs) is it like, what's that joke? I like the, um, can I get the, maybe maybe they're all politicians. You go in there, can I get the Malcolm Turnbull, please? Is there a joke about a guy who walks into the hairdresser and says, uh, I want my hair cut like George Clooney, and the guy gives him a haircut and it's really bad? He goes, it's nothing. It's nothing like George Clooney's haircut. He doesn't get his hair cut like that. And the guy goes, he would if he came here. Bang! <laughs> <laughs> did I do that right? I think, I, think I did that right. Yeah. Um, it doesn't work. 
Meaning, mm. if you go, I want my hair cut like that guy there, mm. because you've got a different shape head. I, I have to, my, I've got a long face, so therefore my haircut is quite, you know, I unique. Got, unique. Um, I'm special. I'm really special. You are uh, special. But you've got to have, how would you go? Would you ever consider, or for charity, shave your head? No. I've said this to him, you know, I go one time. I've been asked, but no. I'd be worried it wouldn't come back. I would not might grow back. Yeah. I, I would like to do at some point. I'd like to do like a number three or something. Really? What is it? There's a what's what's zero? Zero? Yeah, number one. There's a number one two. and a two. If I saw you with a number one or whatever, I think oh, you've had a breakdown. What Who were the people one? with bald heads in our industry? Your mama? Tom, Tom Gleason. Tom Gleason. No, not say bald heads gone the shave. Tom gone Gle- the option. Tom Gleisner. Oh, no, who's actually just shaved it all off? Yeah. Rob Sitch? Is, yeah, sh- yeah. He's got a bald head, hasn't he? Tom Gleiser? What's Tom? Tom Tom's, I can't remember. He's got, Tom's gone like to really, really... Uh, yeah, yeah. He's, he's that, like, like a one. Yeah. I don't yeah. know. I don't but know. they embrace it. That's what I like. That's what you got to embrace it. Jo- Moen says that you'll go... If you're going to go, you'll go my way or not at all. Or it's That's what my the hair way says. Or, yeah, 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 it's yeah. true. I'm in charge here. And it looks great. I feel sorry for guys who are hanging on hmm. and combing over. And or wearing a wig or a toupee yeah. or you know, and hanging on, you go, you know, lean into you it. Let it go. You would look great with short hair, you know. Yeah. I wouldn't. Mm. You probably wouldn't either. You'd look like no, I look like um, a character, the fat guy from the Adams family. Oh. <laughs> what was his name? Uncle Festa. Uncle Festa. I look like Uncle Festa. <laughs> Imagine trying to call a character now, Uncle <laughs> Festa. Festa. Festering. How's that wound on your back? Oh, it's festering. Oh, Ooh, look at that. I used to do a joke about Kim Jong Un. Oh, that's right. I used to say Julia Gillard, you know, she could have, you know, people say she sounded like a bogan. Yeah. You know, and I said she would, she could have used that voice to her her advantage. She'd go and see, you know, the North Korean despot and say, Kimmy, look at my. <laughs> hey, <laughs> woo! Look at my. Oh, God. <laughs>